Blanket a predefined area with a selection of 3D objects like vegetation with the Atlantis Populate tool. Open the 2D view. Activate the Populate tool. Scroll down the list of options and choose from among the many icons. Press the Ctrl key to select the plans from the media library that you want to use, and then activate the finger icon to allow you to drop them randomly one by one. Using the path mode, distribute the plans along the path. Right-click on the green line displays a contextual menu, which gives more options to edit the shape of the path, such as add control point and close path. Use the handles of the right tangents to change the shape of the path. Hit the plus button to increase the number of distributions and confirm. Define the area you want to blanket with the selected trees or the other 3D objects using the rectangle or circle mode. The size and the position of the defined area can be adjusted easily. Rotate the defined area by clicking and dragging a yellow handle around the anchor point. Pull the handle along the axis to enlarge or reduce its size. Click plus to increase the number and click on the dice to randomly redistribute the objects. Atlantis 2020 includes new shaders that help generate 3D grass, enhancing the realism of the scene. You will find the 3D grass shaders in their own category of nature shaders. There are 10 types of 3D grass shaders with different colors, lengths, and densities. Using 3D grass shaders is easy. Just drag and drop them over a surface. The height and fall off of 3D grass can also be adjusted. With version 2 3D grass, you can set the color and density variations. Please note, however, that the 3D grass shader won't be shown in the preview. It will only be calculated in the final renderings. With the help of crop rendering, the final result can be prevailed by rendering a defined zone. Here are several samples of version 2 3D grass shaders in various colors and densities. We hope you enjoyed learning how to use the Populate tool and the 3D grass.